Do you live to work or do you work to live? It's a really good question, but I'm going to talk about on my take. Hi, I'm Deborah, also known as Doobage42. Please click that like button while you're thinking about it and go ahead and subscribe. I asked that question, do you live to work or work to live? Because it seems like now all I'm doing is living to work. And what I mean by that is uh, where I work, I've been on mandatory overtime for nearly seven months. Uh, most weeks, it's six days a week. Most days, it's nine to 10 hours a day. Yes, I have a job. I get a paycheck. And I am grateful for that. Believe me, we're reminded at work, well, at least you have a job. You could be unemployed. Yeah, they say things like that at work. I miss having a life. Now you might say, well, Deborah, you put out three videos a week. And yes, I do. This is something that I enjoy doing. It's a hobby and there's not a lot of time for it. You will notice that most of the time in any given week, I'm pretty much wearing the same stuff for all three videos because I have to shoot them all in one day when I have a little bit of time because most of the time there's no time off. I mean, at my job, we're penalized for using sick time. Yeah, somebody came to work sick. I caught it. And then of course it went to bronchitis for me. So I had to get penalized to go to the doctor and get the medicine that I needed to deal with my bronchitis. Yes, I got sick from somebody at work and I was penalized for taking about three hours actually is all I took. I left, went to the doctor. Doctor said, you should really go home. I, said, I can't and he knows my job situation. He knows that we can't just leave. My doctor has told me on many occasions that I should get another job that this job is killing me. They're working us too much. But the problem is, where? Most jobs around here are like that. They know that they have us on a little string, like little puppets. Because in a rural area, where are you gonna work that makes a decent amount of money? And used to also have a decent insurance, but not so much anymore. That's kind of another rant. The reason I started thinking really hard about this and wanted to make a video about it, was because the channel Wanted Adventure Living Abroad, Donna, uh, made a great video about the differences between the work and life culture in Germany, where she's living now, and in America. Video link up here, wherever it shows up. And I was really surprised at the difference. You know, America's a great country, but we really treat our workers like shit. Vacations are not mandatory, although where I work, I mean, I've been there for 13 years, I do get like three weeks vacation. When can I take them? Good question. Because we have to schedule our vacations for the following year. For instance, for 2017's vacations, I had to put in for my days in October or November of 2016. And they really frown upon taking them all at once. Besides, you have to leave some days available in case you're sick. In case something comes up. In case over the next year, there's plans that change. Because that's never really taken into account by employers. At least by the employers I've known. Really makes you think about the state of our union here about the state of how we treat people. And by we, I mean like corporations and working. You know, most everybody has a job or two or three. Why do you think most Americans don't do a lot of traveling? We're all working all the time. We can't get weeks off at a time. We don't get to go on a holiday. Please watch her video and I'm gonna link to it below as well because it really gives you some insight and read the comments. Yes, some of the comments are in German, but just, you know, if you understand German, great. If not, there's enough English comments to make sense of everything. Things are so different and come to find out, most of the first world treats their employees 
better than we do in America. Why is that? What's going on here? Almost makes me want to get a work visa and go elsewhere because I'm kind of burnt out. Six days a week, nine to 10 hour days for more than half a year so far. And it's still going on. Yeah. It's stressful. We don't have time to rest. And we don't have time for our families and our hobbies. And if we don't have time for that stuff, what's the point of working so hard? <sighs> Other my takes right up here, please, again, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Leave comments about what it's like working where you are. And uh, I'll see you next time.